Hello, welcome back for a final video on Kivi. So I was working on recycle views and I felt like it was interesting to share about uh, a few things I encountered in my current project. So we'll jump into the project and incorporate this recycle view into it. Uh, this might be like two videos, so we'll see how it goes. So what is a recycle view? Well, a recycle view is a collection of widgets into a scrollable widget and so you can put in there any kind of list of informations with various buttons or labels or any kind of widget that are going to be within one widget that's going to be scrollable and what makes that very interesting is that any kind of information, any number of information you can put in there. The only limitations is, is that it's going to be one type of widgets in the recycle view. You cannot have multiple ones from what I saw. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, add a very basic one uh, to begin with and then we'll make it part of this whole application I'm creating. So this is just a training app, uh, app that I'm having. Most of the topics that you see in there have been dealt with in separate videos so I just felt like adding uh, this one directly into the project. So right now what I have with this app is this. So it's just a little like wallet app to see budgets that, and so you can create a, a new group with uh, projects going on. You can go into a new group and you can come back. Uh, and what I want now is to have the create new group button up there and then the recycle view that's going to go underneath here with all your current groups that are going on. Okay, uh, so first thing first, uh, let's get a little more uh, close to those things and uh, maybe we're going to get interested in uh, the first step of the recycle view, which is creating it in our uh, Python file. So first we're going to be like class and uh, I'm going to call it um, scroller page just because it's consistent with what I've been doing in this app specifically. Uh, bear with me, I'm sorry, it's a recycle view, not a scroll view, but okay. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be inheriting the recycle view abilities. And because of that, we're going to call the init function of recycle view, and VS Code is going to uh, fill in everything for me here. And you can see that uh, we're also calling the super of the function to have all its abilities. Now, what we need to do is to add the informations that you want to uh, showcase in your recycle view. And we're going to do that with a list. And actually, so we're going to have this basic uh, setup of uh, text of the widget is going to be something. It's going to be like one and then two and three and four and five. Uh, this has to be a string though, so it's going to be either this or obviously this. Okay, you could have straight up uh, information like a, I don't know, like a Paris. Okay, but what we want to do is have multiple of those, and to do that, we're going to use uh, list comprehension. So the self the data of this scroll of view is going to be a list comprehension of this uh, text statement and what we're going to do is add it under brackets like that under curly brackets and say text uh, is um, stair string of x okay so this is our statement this is a code and this is going to be for x in uh, range 20, I guess. Okay, so in the range of 20, we're going to add the text version of that number in this list comprehension, meaning that what we're going to get now is like a list of text dot something uh, for 20 items. Okay. Uh, obviously, if you're not very comfortable with this comprehension, and I learned about this uh, structure recently, uh, mainly with the documentation and then some videos explaining how to use uh, recycle views. So, um, 
yeah, you should look into that, I guess. Now let's go in our KV file and we're going to implement it as one of our widgets. So you can see that I have things going on here. Uh, don't bother too much with it. And now we're going to define our scroller page widget. And it's going to be, and this is when I'm going to reference what I already did because like, you know, it's just aesthetic stuff, not my biggest issue. Uh, so first, uh, we're going to define the view class. So the view class is what kind of widget you're going to put in this um, in this recycle view. And here, what we're going to do is add buttons. Okay, so we're just going to call going to call them button. And then I'm going to copy and paste all the uh, aesthetic informations that I want, which are those. So just a, re a recycle box layout. Uh, that is going to be uh, 30 padding, 10 spacing, default size, default it, like anything you've already seen in KV, right? So nothing too crazy going on here. And actually we are kind of good. Uh, all we need to do now is to go down there in my main page so you can see I have a box layout, my banner that I defined, labels and buttons. And underneath my button, I'm going to add this um, scroller page that I just defined. Okay, now let's try and see what the app is doing now. Uh, oh yeah, little syntax error, I forgot the brackets there, sorry. Okay, so let's zoom out of this a little bit and now you can see that we have this scroll of view, this is recycle view, I'm so sorry for that. And we're going from 1 to Boop, boop, boop. 19 obviously okay all those are buttons so they are clickable uh, and then the challenge is to get into those uh, different buttons and link them to something else get informations and and that's what we're going to see in the next video update the recycle view depending on the database or any kind of other information you have in your app dynamically every time you load you load that page so yeah, that was the first basic way of implementing ResearchCoView in Kiwi.